In this video, I'm going to show you a humidity proof curly hair routine using all drugstore products. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and I make videos about naturally curly hair. We love talking about the science behind our hair, ingredients, problem solving, and much more here on my channel. So I'd love for you to subscribe if you have not already. As I mentioned, this routine is using all drugstore products. For this routine, I'm going to be using the Heritage Ahead of the Curl Curl Cream, as well as the Dove Amplified Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. And I also finished off with a non-drugstore hairspray, but I have a code for that one. So if you wanna see how to get these results, let's go ahead and get started with the routine. So I'm starting off with clean, damp hair. I have my hair wrapped in my hair repair towel, and I'm just going to wrap it around my shoulders so the wet hair doesn't get all over my neck. The first product that I'm going to use is from Heritage by Mindy McKnight. This is the Ahead of the Curl Curl Cream. This curl cream does contain proteins. It has hydrolyzed wheat protein and also hydrolyzed jojoba protein. This is very moisturizing. I definitely think I used too much of this because I ended up with a very light gel cast when I was finished with this routine and normally I get pretty strong hold out of this. So I think I used too much. I went in with about a quarter size on about three quarters of my hair and then I applied a little bit more to the other side, but I definitely didn't need to apply that much, but I'll show you how you can fix it in just a bit. I'm just spritzing some water. I like to customize the amount of water that's in my hair when I'm applying my products because I like to damp style, but then again, I don't want my hair to be stringy and frizzy, so I do add some water as I'm styling. Then I'm just running it through with my Minya Beauty detangling brush, and this just helps distribute everything and also help cover my scalp some in the back. Then I'm just running my fingers through to break all of that up so my hair is not stuck to my head. Then for my gel, I'm using the Dove Amplified Texture Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. This is a very affordable drugstore gel and it does not contain silicone. It also has a pretty strong hold and it's moisturizing at the same time. It does have glycerin as the second ingredient, but it's paired with other strong hold ingredients and humidity blocking ingredients. So it has hydronated castor oil in it as well, which helps seal. It also has polyquinternium 10, aloe leaf juice, shea butter, coconut oil, VPVA copolymer, some other holding ingredients. So this is going to give you a strong hold if you apply a lot of it. And like I said, if you use less leave-in or curl cream first, you will get a stronger hold. You could totally just use this gel as your single styler and I don't think it would dry out your hair. I've also used this with just a lightweight leave-in underneath. I haven't used it, I don't think by itself, but it does a great job at giving strong hold and protecting from humidity. It's also a very liquidy, watery gel, so I highly recommend this if you have very tangly hair, damaged hair, or high porosity hair. Or if you have fine hair, it's also not going to weigh it down. Next, I'm going to be using this brush from Conair. It's the Curl Collective Detangling Brush, and it's for type three curls. They have ones for different curl types. I don't see the type three one available on Ulta anymore. I don't know if it's out of stock or if it's not available yet, but I just see the wavy hair one on there, but it looks almost identical, so I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe the amount of bristles are different, but this is actually a detangling brush, but I've been testing it out to actually define my curls. Typically, I use my Be Hairful brush because I get those chunky like ribbon-like curls but it gives too much tension if you are suffering from breakage or if you have a lot of shedding or damaged hair it can be too much tension on the hair so using a brush like this has been really great for me to still get some definition in ringlets but it's not a lot of tension on my hair I'm also using it to help cover my scalp in the back. I like picking up horizontal sections in this area and I'm just sort of doing it in layers to make sure everything is evenly covered back there So I was just gonna show you how I was able to tell I used too much cream. I could see it all over my brush. So what I'm going to do is take my hair repair towel and scrunch out some of that excess. I probably should have done this before I applied my gel because I don't wanna absorb any of the gel. I need that for hold, but I do wanna absorb some of that cream. I don't like leaving my hair to where when I squeeze it or scrunch it, it just starts pouring out with water and product. That's too much. You want your hair to absorb the right amount of product so it doesn't get weighed down. It doesn't take forever to dry. So I like doing this micro plopping method, which is just where you're scrunching with the towel. I'm very gentle. I don't like to squeeze or pulse too much because I don't want to cause any frizz, but using this towel will not cause frizz on the hair as long as you are gentle with it. I also like lifting right at the root and then scrunching up very close to my scalp. This helps give me more curl definition at the root. 
Then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the Dove gel just as a finishing layer on top. Like I said, whenever you scrunch with a towel, you're definitely absorbing product and you don't want to absorb too much product if you want strong hold and humidity protection. So I am going in with another layer of gel and plus whenever you layer gel on top of hair that is just barely damp, like when it's starting to get dried, that's when you really get strong hold. So you could even let your hair air dry for a little bit or diffuse for a little bit and then use the second layer of gel and you're gonna get a lot stronger hold. If there's any pieces that are a little bit frizzy, I'm just going to gently finger quill some of them. So now that I'm done, I'm just checking the back with a handheld mirror to make sure my scalp is covered. I do have a whole video, by the way, all about how to cover your scalp if you have thin or low density hair. I definitely recommend checking it out because I share a lot more tips about that. So here's how my hair is looking wet and I'm ready to go and diffuse and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. So here's my final results. You can tell I have a lot of definition and definitely a lot of shrinkage thanks to that Dove gel. It gives me lots of shrinkage and curl definition. I'm going to show you how I like to give my hair extra humidity protection. I'm spritzing a little bit of the Bounce Pro alcohol-free hairspray, just a tiny amount. It only takes like one or two spritzes of this and you wanna hold it very far away. This is going to give you the best hold protection if you're going to be outside. You also don't wanna scrunch out too much of your crunch. I recommend leaving in some of that gel cast and let it just gradually release throughout the day if it's very humid where you live. So I know the hairspray is not technically a drugstore product. It's an optional step. I can still get really great humidity protection with just the Dove gel. It's just that added step for even extra humidity protection. I do have that 10% off Bounce Curl discount code too, so that should help get you some off and it will last forever. Like I said, I only need a few spritzes of it, so I've had that hairspray for a really long time. The other thing that I love about this routine is I don't have to do much refreshing at all on day two or day three, and it holds up very well throughout the week as long as you protect your curls at night with a bonnet. So that is it for this drugstore curly hair routine for the summertime. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any hair products that you love in the summertime that are from the drugstore, definitely tell me in the comments down below because I would love to test out some more. I'm also going to summarize all the steps that I did in this routine over on the blog post that goes with this video. That's always linked in the description box down below and hopefully it's a helpful resource for you to refer back to. I also list all the products over there and you'll get to see photos of the look, including the back of my hair and everything else. If you're interested in seeing my other curly hair routines, I will also link you to a playlist down below so you can see other routines that I do using drugstore products and some higher end ones as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and I will see you in next week's video. Bye everyone.